During Reno Week 2010 in Denver, Colorado, four prominent nephrologists met to discuss nephrology as a career. In a series of short videos aimed at medical students, these physicians share with potential nephrologists their experiences working in the renal field. So one of the things you got to think about when you're making your career choice is, first of all, you have to be open-minded. Probably what you came into medical school to thinking you were going to do is not what you're going to be doing. That's true for almost all physicians. And then you have to think about what drives you. What is it that you really want to do? Do you want to take care of patients with complex illnesses? Do you want to take care of patients with um, psychiatric illnesses? Do you want to actually only do outpatient care and preventive care? And I think nephrology offers a little bit of everything, but in particular, nephrology offers the care of complex patients. Um, none of our patients are straightforward and easy, but it is that complexity that makes it challenging and every patient a little bit different. So I personally chose nephrology because I didn't like to take care of otherwise healthy patients. Um, I found that intellectually unstimulating, and so I enjoy nephrology for the complexity. But I also enjoyed the ability to take physiology to the bedside, and not every specialty has that direct connection. The other thing is lifestyle. You have to think about what you want to do, and while all specialties do offer various varieties of um, lifestyles and things you can do, in nephrology, I think we have a lot of opportunities to do research, uh, teaching, complete uh, private practice care, administration. A lot of nephrologists also go into the pharmaceutical industry and help to design studies. Donald Wesson, Sharon Anderson, Keith Norris, and moderator Sharon Moe discuss varied topics, such as career satisfaction, the wide range of opportunities provided by nephrology, and the future of the specialty. So Dr. Norris, tell me what made you decide to go into nephrology? You know, I first got interested as a, actually a medical student. So in medical school, I really was interested in homeostasis, physiology, and primarily renal and cardiac physiology. Then as I went into residency, I sort of was choosing between <laughs> endocrinology and nephrology, and at the end of the day, nephrology <coughs> went out. So, so a lot of people think nephrology is so hard. Do you think it's so hard? Do we make it seem hard when we're teaching? I think a lot of people... Because of the numbers, a lot of a lot of people don't like numbers. Some people do like numbers. So people who like numbers, I think, tend to gravitate toward nephrology. But I think it also maybe part of it is is that it's our love of physiology that makes us go into nephrology. So we like to explain things in detail when we're teaching students. Do you agree? Uh, I would agree. In fact, uh, my interest also started in medical school, and I remember very well in pathophysiology at Washington, Washington University in St. Louis. Uh, we were taught that by two of the giants, uh, Edward uh, Sladopolsky and uh, Saul Klar. And I would use the word complex rather than hard. And I enjoyed working through that complexity. But what these two uh, professors did and others in that division was to connect that complex physiology with the care and management of patients. And that connection was fascinating to me. Few other professors in the other disciplines did that as well as nephrologists did at, the, at Wash U. And I, I realized that was not just a Wash U pheno phenomenon. That's what nephrologists do very well, such that you connect the science of what we're learning to the actual care of patients. And as a physician, that's the best thing in the world about what we do. The science helps patients and we get to bridge that gap between the science and the care of patients. And I think that is one of the things that really attracted me right from the beginning. I mean, there, there are many things. I mean, since the time that I was in medical school, I, it wasn't so long ago. I mean, there are others who, <laughs> who, who might disagree with that, but it wasn't so long ago. But many things that we routinely do, some of the what we call kidney protective therapies, weren't even thought of when we were mm -hmm. in medical school, or at least uh, among most of us. Uh, but now they are standard uh, therapy, and they are all based on the understanding of physiology. So now nephrology care isn't only about dialysis patients. We're doing a lot more. What are we doing, Sharon? Can you expand on that? We're doing any number of things. I think um, you know, dialysis is perhaps the most visible part of nephrology to some people, but I think that's unfortunate because it's just a small part of what we do. So uh, one of the reasons that I went into nephrology, and I think many of us did, is 
is because it spans a huge spectrum of patient activities. Absolutely. It's definitely not the same thing day in and day out. So what I tell um, potential uh, people who are thinking about a career in nephrology is what I love is that I have everything from the absolute sickest people in our quaternary care ICU who have strange and wonderful diseases, who are very, very sick, who are going to die if I don't do something, specifically intervene with dialysis within the next 12 hours. So you have that really high tech, exciting, uh, sort of you know high stress sort of situation. And the c complete other extreme is we provide continuity care, which is really similar to primary care for many of our patients. Our dialysis patients, I have patients in my renal clinic that I've been following for many, many years. I, you know, I know them better than their primary care providers because mm -hmm. the PCPs sort of tend to turn over a little bit more. And you can really have that really um, heartwarming, longitudinal doctor-patient relationship. So what I, what, one of the things that I love about nephrology is you get all of that and everything in between. So you don't have to pick, I like ICU medicine or I like primary care. We get to do it all. I agree. I have a patient in clinic that got, was referred to me 15 years ago to go start on dialysis, and he's still not on dialysis because we do have mechanisms to slow the, the progression of kidney disease. And we also have patients that we can follow through the, you know, I have patients that I followed in clinic. When I first met them, they had moderately advanced CKD. They then develop end-stage renal disease. I simultaneously refer them for a transplant evaluation and also get them prepared for dialysis, but it takes a while to get a transplant. So they go on dialysis for a while, and then they get their transplant, and then they come back to me in clinic. And it's just really great to see that patient that you know, the last time I saw him may have been the time I'm saying, I'm sorry, it's time for dialysis. And sometimes they go to a dialysis unit, which is closer to their home, and I don't end up being their nephrologist, and then comes back with a fun functioning transplant. Very cool. And what Sharon is describing is what a real physician does. Mm -hmm. You engender a relationship with your patient, and it's not just episodic, it's long term. And that's one of the things that nephrologists get to do is that we have, although we are specialists, we get to have a long term primary care type relationship with our uh, with our patients and to me that's that's very gratifying as a physician yeah I, I would agree I think one of the more exciting things about being a nephrologist is that that we're both specialists and primary care providers and because of our patients uh, are complex and many of the uh, strategies that we may have to be involved with such as preparing patients for dialysis or transplantation a complex array of medications. Many primary care providers feel a little apprehensive at really providing a lot of the primary care that our patients need. So we end up providing the primary care, some of the specialty care, coordinating a lot of the care, and so we get to, to be involved in, in just many aspects of our patients' lives.